we fought, you had that eye of the tiger, man, the edge. And now you've got to get it back. And the way to get it back is to go back to the beginning. You know what I mean? United Artists and Chartoff Winkler proudly present Rocky Three. The worst thing happened to you that could happen to any fighter. You got civilized. Get out of here, will you? The truth is, we both started out on the same corner, and I got lucky with my life, and it's driving you nuts. Philadelphia salutes its favorite son, Rocky Balboa. Why don't you tell all these nice folks why you've been ducking me? This guy is a wrecking machine. You know, you've got a big mouth. Why don't you come out and close your mouth, boy? Come on. I don't want to fight this guy. You'll you fight him without you me. Balboa was a fine champion, but his time has passed. See that look in their eyes, Rock? Got to get that look back, Rock. I the tiger, come on. Not would destroy any man who tries to take what I got. I'm going to torture him. I'm going to crucify him real bad. For the first time in my life, I'm afraid. Damn, Rock, come on! There's nothing wrong with being afraid. You thought I was tough? This jump will kill you. You wake up after a few years thinking you're a winner, but you're not. There is no tomorrow. You're really a loser. Well, I don't believe it. There is no tomorrow. It's Rocky's greatest challenge to save his honor, his marriage, and his manhood against his most devastating and dangerous opponent. I'll bust you up. Go for it. Sylvester Stallone, Talia Shire, Burgess Meredith, Carl Weathers, Burt Young, and introducing Mr. T. Rocky III, an American tradition. So continuing on with the uh, 35th anniversary of the summer of 1982, tonight was Rocky III. Um, this is one of my favorite Rocky movies, and it was a very good sequel, I think. Um, a lot of people don't think so. They think that this is where things start to get a little crazy in the Rocky franchise. Um... But, you know, I always like this one. It's, you know, it's had Mr. T in it. It had Hulk Hogan. Um, it's it's just a fun movie, okay? Um, let me give you a little bit of the, the synopsis of what this film is about. This is, Ro this is the third film in the series. Uh, by this time, Rocky has won the championship. And so... In the beginning, they show that success has gone to Rocky's head a little bit. Um, he's not a, he's not, he's no longer afraid. He's lost his edge. Uh, he's doing car commercials, credit card commercials, um, all these public events, and so along comes this guy who really wants the championship by the name of Clubber Lang, played by Mr. T, and he's ruthless. He has a bad attitude, and everybody else is trying to warn Rocky, don't fight this guy, because you could, he could kill you. Well, Rocky doesn't listen to them, ends up fighting, and he finds out that this guy can knock him out really, really quick. As a matter of fact, it's in the third third round that Clubber Lang defeat, uh, beats Rocky. And then it takes... And after the, there's a death of his trainer, Mickey, and so Rocky just feels completely reduced 
down to nothing. And he develops a relationship with Apollo Creed. And then we go from there. I'm not going to tell you the rest of the movie because you need to watch it your own self if you haven't seen it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite uh, of the rock, of the whole Rocky series. Um, it's just fun. I, you know, it's... You have Mr. T. You have Hulk Hogan. Matter of fact, a little bit of trivia, and I think everyone knows this now. Uh, by this time, Hulk Hogan was wrestling for uh, WWE. At the time, it was WWF. And Vince McMahon Sr. fired Hulk Hogan because of doing Rocky III. And uh, Vince McMahon said, no, you need to be touring. You need to be in the ring rather than making movies. Well, Hulk Hogan knew that this would put him on the map. So... He did the movie, Vince McMahon Sr. fired him, and then Vince McMahon Jr. hired him back. And so now that's why Hulk Hogan is so legendary within the WWE. Um, but also at the same time, uh, there, I watched a documentary years ago about the making of the Rocky movies. And each movie is kind of a reflection of what Sylvester Stallone himself was going through uh, like when he made Rocky 1 he was broke <laughs> he was flat broke matter of fact he had to sell his dog uh, who's in the movie uh, to get some money to live on and then Rocky 2 comes out it's a hit He's riding on cloud nine, and then finally, when Rocky three, he said, success was getting to my head a little bit, and uh, I needed to be reminded of who I am, and so that's where Rocky three came in, where he wrote this story about Rocky becoming so successful in life that um, he forgets his place. Um, and that's where the whole eye of the tiger. He lost the eye of the tiger. He's got to get it back. Um, yeah. Fun movie. Um, of course, I enjoy all the Rocky movies. Um, even though Rocky V is kind of a goofy movie. Um, uh, I, I like all of them. <laughs> I have no preference. I even like Creed. You know. Um. But yeah, Rocky 3 was tonight's movie. Tomorrow night we'll be continuing on, uh, I believe. Either, I don't know if I want to watch Star Trek 2 or Poltergeist. Um, I think, uh, because the reason being is because those movies did come out on the same day. So, who knows? Um, who knows? I may do both of them. I don't know. We'll wait and see what happens. But, from me to you, see you later.